The key challenges to getting robotics onto the construction site are many. Do we want the humans to be there? That means safety. You need not just mobility, but you need different types of mobility. What kind of tasks do we want this robot to do? Drilling, laying bricks. Do we want all of those things to be done? We're here today in the arches under London Bridge Station to test the camera platform, which is a collaborative project between HAL Robotics, Inotech UK, ABB and Skanska. The platform is designed for construction automation and comprises a mobile base which can move in any direction, a scissor lift to move the payload up and down, and a manipulator to actually move the tool. Those are supported by a localization system to find out where the robot is, and a software layer over the top to control the whole thing. Construction sites of the future are full of machines. Software is really key to make all these machines work together. What we would like to achieve is to produce a technology which is robust enough to do industrial Internet of Things on construction sites. The programming of the platform is done directly from a CAD model. So once you've designed your building or your object, we derive the toolpaths from that and tell the robot what to do to create what you've designed. What we have here is a nice versatile machine that's got wide applicability in construction. It can address issues that tradesmen face on site to do with accuracy, to do with health and safety. I see this as the beginning of a whole series of solutions that will be developed for the construction industry. Many people have concerns about uh, will robots uh, cause jobs to be lost. In my opinion, no, because what we're working on is a human-robot collaborative system. So this thing will help humans to do really the hard jobs, the boring jobs, and add value to the construction by improving quality as well. We're in a position now where programming is so much cheaper and more efficient to do. The hardware is developing fast, and I only see that continuing. So I think it's a very exciting future.